This is the effect that we're going to achieve. Finally, Godot 4.4 allows us to copy skin image data from the GPU to the CPU. Maybe in the next version, we are going to have the same data for particles. So Shaderpedia has some updates. Uh, this is a bug and this is the new model. You can check how it works. This is what we're going to use for this effect. And here is the description. So we are using my 3D character controller for this exercise. You have to clone it. And here we are. I'm deleting this node. And I am also using my shader library. So you have to clone this project inside. Here it is. I'm going to change the icon color. Yeah. Now I'm going to create an empty mesh instance. This is going to be a holder for the clones of the skin of mesh. I'm going to rename it to clone container and I am creating a GTScript file. I'm going to declare a class name and also a couple of properties that are going to be useful. Lifetime and remaining time. And I'm going to decrease the remaining time value in the process function. Now I'm going to save this in. And I am going to create a new folder uh, called materials. And inside I'm going to create a new resource, shader material. And I'm going to give it a name, female material. So I create a new shader called clone free nail GD shader. So yeah, I'm going to declare a uniform value opacity. And I have to include my function from the library. The free nail function. I'm going to call it. Then I'm going to declare another uniform. Free nail power. And just pass the values. And another uniform for the color gradient. And I am going to set this up. I'm going to select a gradient, 1D, uh, some colors. It can be anything. These are just the colors I like. Now this is going to be an instance that's important, opacity. And just set a color variable equals to the color gradient. But in the position x of the opacity and zero, that's important too. That is going to be a value from zero to one. Now we have to declare the emission uniform. And this is a mistake. Now, I'm going to set emission equals to the color by the emission value. Now, I'm going to set the instance shader parameter opacity, and I am using the remaining time divided by the lifetime, so I get a normalized value between 0 and 1. Then I'm going to create a new GDScript file in the root node. 
and I'm going to require the source mesh, the copy interval, the max copies, and the source material. Also, I declare this array that works as a queue and a timer. Then I'm going to check in the ready function if the source mesh exists with the skin and mesh data. Then I am just going to copy this code to set up the timer. It's very simple. Then I'm going to instantiate the container that I made before. And then I'm, I am going to copy the data from the GPU using this function. Bake mesh from current skeleton pose. And because we are copying from the GPU, maybe you have to use the signal. Not in this case, because we are using a timer. And I am calculating the lifetime, multiplying the copy interval by the max copies. Then I add the child and add it to the queue. And I set up the queue. Now, uh, it is not working because I have to set up the variables, of course. The source mesh that's, that is inside the skeleton and the material. And you can see that is working now. I just have to set up the Prinell effect. And I'm using the window on front. Yeah. So I can manipulate the values like Prindle power and the mission. And you can see that now it's working, but it lacks the opacity change. So I'm going to multiply by the opacity in the alpha value. And you can see that no is working as expected. Yeah. Really nice. 